How's it going YouTubers? Cool Muff here. Thank you for joining me for another video today and today uh, we've got a look at WRC8. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I've just been incredibly, incredibly busy at work, uh, personal life, you know it is, and the Christmas break. So I kind of had an unofficial break, if you like, but um, I I'm back. I'm going to try and be doing a few more videos, try and get a couple out a month if I can. Just something, some form of racing or gaming or whatever, we'll see. So. Um, Without further ado, let's get into it. So, uh, just before we get into the actual uh, setups and, and whatnot, um, I just wanted to kind of go over a couple of little bits about WRC8 because I'm actually really enjoying this. And personally, for me, I prefer this over the Dirt series just now. It seems to play a lot better and it seems to respond better to my kind of racing. I'm not saying it's easier to handle, but it just seems to respond better to my kind of how I race and how I basically throw a car around and different things and I find this easier to handle not saying that it's easier racing game at all not saying that at all and I'm not saying that you know dirt rally is really really hard but compare the two apples for apples I prefer this game over over the other ones um, and I've not really played that many WRC games they, they took a little bit of a dive for me personally but they seem to be back and they seem to be doing really really well and I'm really really enjoying this so um, we're just looking at this Toyota Yaris here on screen so let's get into the settings I'm just going to show you the settings that I use on this game um, so let's go into settings so if you go all the way across to the right to the spanner over there uh, and we're just going to go across to the controls and um, we've not changed an awful lot on here if I'm honest so um, we've got the uh, acceleration again uh, 0 0 and 100 and scale and invert is completely off and then obviously you've got your, your gauge at the bottom just there if you want to just test it out just going down to the brake now I have tweaked the sensitivity a little bit so you know because I use this load cell um, it, it alters the sensitivity for me so if you want that sen sensitivity on zero then have it on zero but basically the best thing to do when you're using your pedals is just gauge what it's like don't don't really slam on the brake so I could possibly up the sensitivity a little bit but it just gives me that what I'm doing here when I'm pressing the, the pedal is I'm literally just tapping it I'm just doing it as you would when you're racing because a lot of people tend to put as much effort into it as they can when they're setting it up but that's not how you race so just sit here and just pretend you're at a corner and just tap it until you're happy with how that sits and just adjust that sensitivity it's one of the biggest things that I think a lot of people struggle with they start messing around with the pedals and different things so just it's one thing that I've recently picked up on and it's made me a little bit quicker because I can brake better and I can brake when I want to like I can on a controller. So just tweak that sensitivity. It's, it's called different things like saturation and whatnot in other games, but that's that. Clutch, I've got a clutch pedal, but again, that's all at default, 0, 0 and 100. I do use the clutch a little bit on this, but that's just to, if I need to wang the revs up and stuff if I'm doing handbrake turn. Steering, again, is 0, 0 and 100. Um, I, I'm, I'm flitting between two flashes and three flashes which is somewhere around 360 and I don't know 720 something like that not not doing the full uh, steering but it just depends and the first few stages on this race on this game are actually in the snow so it's a little bit harder to to gauge it on, on your career path anyway um, steering left and right that's just set it as it is and then obviously shifting up and down with the paddles and then everything else is completely up to you um, on here uh, and then so that's the button binding so let's just go across to the actual settings here so steering angle I've got that set at 540 the nice little thing that you can do on here is test the vibration um, when it decides to do it uh, but yeah steering angle 540 that seems to be about a good happy medium for me overall force I've left it at 100 and it doesn't completely break my wheel which is good um, self aligning torque I've got that at 90 so that's how how hard it snaps back to the center when you're going around the corners tire load i've got a 58 self center at 19 not sure why that's 20 or 18 it's doing me ocd a little bit um and center force recenter force is at 100 so that's how it's fighting me to get back to the to the center and then vibration again a lot of this is personal preference but hopefully it'll give you a good baseline as to where you want uh, your car to sit so um vibration i've got a 79 tire slip 125 suspension 115 ground surface 110 engine 50 collision 19 throttle pedal 29 and brake pedal 29 i might up a few of these at the minute that seems to work well for me 
Um, I have tweaked a few of them um, and I'm just going to go in and just because it's going to do my OCD in, that's going to go to 20 uh, and that's going to go to 80 and whatever this was is going to go to 20 and that's going to go to 30 and that's going to go to 30 as well just because, you know, OCD, I like whole numbers, don't mind the 115 but yeah, nobody leaves things on nine. So um, anyway, that's that's my setup video. Um, I hope you uh, enjoy it. I hope you're enjoying this game. I hope you've all had a wonderful Christmas break and whatnot. Um, and looking forward to the new year. I've got a few more videos coming because I did hit 2,000 subs. So thank you all for your support on that. And I'm hoping to get some um, Assetto Corsa Competition uh, videos done. Um, I'm, I'm just worried about capturing that and it completely like melting my PC or something. Um, but we've got a few more videos coming. I'm going to try and get a few more things out. Um, and I've got a new rim as well. I've got the, the F1 rim. So I'm going to do a few videos on that as well. So um, until next time, guys, thank you very much. I uh, hope you've all had an awesome break. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and all those wonderful things. And until next time, I shall see you all on the next video.